Since I'm not 100% prepared to do the brush videos just yet, which I'm going to do two of them. I'm going to split them into two because it's probably going to be a long video if I keep it together. So I'm going to do um, face and then I'm going to do eyes. So I'm hoping the video after this will, will be the face version of that video. Like my favorite high-end brushes and then they're inexpensive counterparts. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, I thought I would go ahead and do a bit of a haul because it's kind of the end of the day and they're the easiest for me to film and edit. So I went to town yesterday and so I found myself in Sephora, of course, <laughs> and I managed to only spend five bucks. I, I purchased the NARS Luminous Foundation probably a week ago and it just it just isn't for me. And then I gave it to my mom to try and it wasn't for her either. So I ended up taking that back and exchanging it for a couple other things. So I picked up this eyeliner and it's the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. It's what I have on my waterline today. It's in the shade Cobalt and it's a really pretty blue color. Um, I have a, um, I've been having a hard time finding a liner for the waterline in this particular color that stays nicely and doesn't hurt my eyes. Like I have one in the NARS version that's similar to this, but it hurts my eyes. I also have one in, I think it's Downtown Blue, which is a Lancome gel liner, and it hurts my eyes. Um, I haven't had any eye irritation with this so far, and then too, it did fade just a tiny bit on this outer corner, so I went to touch it up, and um, with like the, the Modster ones, there was a color like this that I just thought was beautiful, and a green one too. Um, when I went to touch those up after they faded, which they did on me, it the liner picked itself up. So when I went to do that with this one, it didn't. It went over nice and was easy to touch up on the outer corner. Um, I think that um, I think it's lasting decent. I wish that the Marc Jacobs Highlighter Gel Crayons came in a color like this, but um, so far I'm satisfied with with this liner for as long as I've had it on. It hasn't like transferred into the inner corner of my eye, which is something the new Estee Lauder liners did. So I ended up. Even though the colors were so pretty, um, they transferred to my inner corners and that is just something that I just, I don't. <laughs> and they could have been longer lasting so I did end up taking those uh, liners back. But um, for the color of this, it's just lasting so nice and I really like it so far. So um, there's a lot of colors in this line so if it works out I might pick up a couple more fun colors in this. I also grabbed another Anastasia Brow Wiz and the color that I use um, for the most part is in Ash Blonde or Taupe. This is what I have on my brows today. That's all I have on my brows. I love the Benefit Gimme Brow. I love it. I love to just slap two coats of that on my brows and roll out. It's like quick and easy and shapes your brows and all that. Um, but it breaks my eyebrows out. <laughs> like little creeps in my eyebrows. So even when I've used it a day by the end of the day, if it's a longer day, it still does that to me. Um, which I just, I've been trying to find a gel type product that's similar to the Benefit Gaming Brow, but I haven't just yet because I really like that. <laughs> but in any event, so I haven't been using the Gimme Brow quite as much. Um, I've been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and so I twisted the one that I have up and it was like just a tiny bit left so I went ahead and grabbed another one of those. I also ordered a couple things from Sephora online and one thing which <laughs> um, I thought it was kind of silly when I first saw it, but then the more I looked at it and thought about it, I thought it would be kind of ideal. <laughs> it's the Bling Ring um, by the original Beauty Blender. And at first I thought they were just going to be selling this ring to hold your Beauty Blender in. I was like, I don't think so. But this one comes with a Beauty Blender. <laughs> so the Beauty Blender is kind of my favorite thing to put on my Dr. Jart BB cream with. So um, I kind of thought it would be ideal because I'm not even joking. My Beauty Blender finds itself rolling all over the place. <laughs> So I thought it was cute and it does come with another beauty blender as well. So I went ahead and got that and that's what it looks like. <laughs> this is a, a new beauty blender, but it just, it's just a piece of, uh, it's just a piece of plastic, you know, that holds your, your beauty blender in there like that. So I'm going to go ahead and set that on my deal over there and put my beauty blender in it. <laughs> I thought it was cute. <laughs> And functional. I was quite impressed with the Marc Jacobs pout liner that I got in Nudist, so I went ahead and ordered the shade Honey Bun, <laughs> 302 Honey Bun. Um, it's a twist up pencil and it, it applies really, really nicely. And I think it wears nice throughout the day too. It's, it's a decent wearing lip liner, but it's not one of those ones that is um, super long wearing that if your lip color were to wear off it'll leave a ring around your lips. It fades nicely when your lip color kind of fades th which is uh, something that I really enjoy about um, certain lip liners that do that. So um, I do like these and this one is, yeah, what is the shade again? Honey Bun. <laughs> and it's kind of a peachy nude shade. 
right there. I caved a little bit and decided to try out one of the new Marc Jacobs uh, Lamarck lip creams as well, which they, it's a whole new line of uh, lip creams that Marc Jacobs came out with, I think probably three weeks ago now. And I picked up the shade 214 Georgie Girl. And this is the pack packaging that's more similar to the first lipsticks that he came out with as opposed to the sheer ones, which are in like the nude packaging. But um, I really, really like this color. It's a pretty um, pink color. It's like a, a warm, pale nude pink, maybe. <laughs> All I know is it's showing up true. In, yeah, it, it's showing up very true in the viewfinder. And I've worn this uh, quite a few times since I've gotten it, and it's really a pretty lip color. It lasts nice on the lips as well. Also online at Sephora, I picked up this Dr. Jart BB Matte Contouring 123 Kit. Um, it comes with a, one highlight, two neutralizing, and three bronzing. It's got SPF 30 in it. It's got really good um, skin-friendly ingredients in it. It comes in this cute little, uh, ooh, this little packaging like this and it's got a little card that kind of tells you how to use the products but um these are the three sticks that come in there and each one contains 0.2 ounces of product which um for like a wand style like this it's, it's a decent amount of product but um some of them i like so much that i wish that they came in a bigger size <laughs> um but i've been wearing this particular one pretty much every single day which is the um it's the highlight shade Instead of bringing my concealer like this whole entire area, I'll put my BB cream on and then I'll take this highlighting shade and just put it right there, smush it in with my beauty blender and then just put concealer right in this area right here and I've really, really been enjoying this. Um, a couple of times I've used the, uh, the number two neutralizer with the highlighting stick because this one here is pretty, pretty doggone light. I purchased the Stila contouring kit in the light shade. The highlighter was too dark for my skin tone and the um, bronzing shade was orange <laughs> on me. Like my fair skin, it was really orange. And then to both of those cream products in that Stila duo, which I, I sent it back, <laughs> um, they were thick. They were really, really thick. And the colors just were not suiting for my skin. So I was really happy that I got this one here. So here's the number one um, highlight shade, the number two neutralizing, and then the number three bronzing right here which is i'm gonna swatch them for you guys here here they are swatched the highlight neutralizer and then the bronzing shade and this does not turn orange on me it's a really pretty pretty color on my skin tone um and then two they're they're all thin but they have got a lot of pigment for as thin as they are and i just find them to be really flattering on fair skin tone um something with the dr dart products um by the way i for bb creams the only ones that i would use and I recommend from the line are the Black Label Detox Beauty Balm and then the um, Premium Beauty Balm in the Gold Tube with SPF 45. Those are the only two BB creams that I personally would recommend from the line. The other ones um, are, are decent, but they have got some irritating ingredients in them. Anyway, I wish that Dr. Jart would come out with more shades in like their Black Label Detox Beauty Balm and also their Premium Beauty Balm and also in these because these are so nice. Um, I know the Cream Contour Kits and are, are the next like big thing in contour land. <laughs> this guy here is a fair skin friendly uh, cream contouring kit in any event and I really have been enjoying it. And then off of Neiman Marcus, um, I purchased the Tom Ford Cream Color for Eyes in the shade Spring 2015, which is so original. <laughs> That's like literally the name, which made me giggle. It's called Spring 2015. <laughs> I really enjoyed the two Tom Ford cream shadows that I do have, so I went ahead and I picked this up. Um, platinum, when I like to put it on the lid and kind of blend it upwards, sometimes I do wish for a little bit more definition in the, cre in the crease, which you can totally do with, you know, a shadow or something like that. But I thought it would be fun to use this Spring 2015 one in conjunction with Platinum um, to put a little definition in the crease. And I did do that, and I quite liked how it came out in the end. So this is what it looks like. It's like, it was described as like a charcoal. Um, it is, I'd say it's like a really, really deep brown with a slight khakiness to it. Um, from what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, it's showing up pretty true, but, um, I really enjoyed it. The color is, it's pretty dark, but it goes together nice with platinum and it goes together nice with spice. So there's a, a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> so let's like blend it out a little bit here so you guys can see. 
So that is uh, spring 2015 is what it's called. And I got that off of uh, Neiman Marcus, which I, I don't know if it's exclusive or not, but that's the only place that I've seen it so far. I finally broke down and bought the Burberry Natural Blush, Light Glow Natural Blush in the shade number seven, Earthy, which I've heard a lot about. I know that Temptalia, Christine, loves this blush. Um, I heard so much about it, so I finally just pulled the trigger. <laughs> and it is, um, for me, it seems to be like maybe one of those contour type powders. It reminds me of that um, that uh, MAC blush that came out with the, the Natural Collection. It reminds me of that a lot. So this is what it looks like. I haven't worn it just yet, showing up very true in the viewfinder. Um, so on my particular skin tone, I think this would be more of a contoury type shade for me, like a, a natural contoury type shade. Also from Burberry, um, they released the, it's called the Summer Spring Summer 2015 Runway Palette. And I purchased this off the Burberry website. It's the only place that I've seen it um, so far. And it actually came with a little decorative sleeve, which I've never seen Burberry do, I guess. But it's like a little plastic sleeve right here. It says uh, Spring Summer 2015 on the back and then Rain sh rain or Shine on the front. But And then the Burberry stuff does come with a little velvet pouch and the little brush in there as well. But the actual packaging here is just standard uh, gunmetal gray. Uh, this is what the blush looks like right here. I'm wearing this today topped with like a really shimmery something or another. Uh, I'll list it down below. But um, there was a shiny. You can still kind of see the um, shine in the lettering. Um, it's kind of funny because this looks like cane or shine. Like the R, top of the R is cut off. But in any event, uh, the uh, shiny particles that are in there is an overspray. Which overspray is always kind of frustrate me a little bit. I, I wouldn't mind if the sparkle ran all the way through, but um, it appears to be kind of a satin, um, a satin after the, the little sparkles from the lettering goes away, but it's the blush that I have on my cheeks right now, and it's really pretty. It blended really nice. It's got nice pigmentation. You could probably use a tinier b brush in the cloud there for a highlight, but I'll probably just use it as a blush, so. Oh, wow. I just used this for the first time today with a brush. I just really swirled my fingers in it, like right now, to give you guys a swatch. And the powder underneath is even lighter yet. Can you see that? The actual powder is lighter than this pink, which I was going to be really happy with the actual powder being this pink color. I love that color, but now it's even lighter yet. So, I don't know what exactly. This is it swatched. Look at how light it looks. I don't know what it's going to look like on the skin now, because... When I put it on earlier, I was just picking up the, the pink and some of the sparkle from the lettering. What in the world? Oh, what kind of color is that? A really light, light peach, peachy pink color? I'll be doggone. I knew the lettering was going to be an overspray, but I didn't know that the pink color over the rest of the powder was also going to be an overspray. It looks like a, a satin matte powder underneath. It's like a light peachy pink color. I'm a little disappointed in this discovery right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, spring summer 2015 runway palette from Burberry. <laughs> that's the wind out there. If you hear like this massive ruckus banging around stuff, that's the wind. It's like, it's ridiculous out there. <laughs> um, but anyway, Burberry also released four new eyeshadows for the spring line. And I know that they have revamped their entire eyeshadow range. From what I've heard, some of the colors have slightly changed. The names have stayed the same, but um, from I'm under the impression that the new reformulated formula from the original line eyeshadows has improved. So that is good. Um, I, however, haven't picked up any of the original ones in the new reformulation, but I did pick up two colors from the spring line, and they're both very pigmented eyeshadows. So this first one is Aqua Green number 309, and it is a wet and dry silk shadow. And this is what it looks like. It is the, the four new ones that came out, they're so pretty. They're triggering that, like the Laura Mercier um, Mist palette, that real murky, um, like watercolor grayish type of um, springy colors, I guess. Like the rainy look. I really like them. <laughs> I really like these like muted pastel colors. In any event, look at how pigmented it is. So I'll give you a swatch here. 
it's, a, it's such a pretty color. I have not worn this one just yet, but I've worn the other one from the spring collection and it's it's really beautiful. I wore it kind of as a um, transition type shade through the crease and it was gorgeous. Let me see here. It is number 201 Rose Pink. It's really, really pretty. Like when I dip my brush in here, I hadn't anticipated how pigmented it was going to go on the eye. So I was like, uh oh, <laughs> but it blended out. It diffused really, really nicely and the color is gorgeous. It's really, really a pretty color. So that is two, what did I say? 201 Rose Pink right there. These next four Burberry eyeshadows are an entirely new formulation for Burberry altogether. Um, they are called the Wet and Dry Glow Shadows. And they came out with four of them. And I feel like these are a cross between the NARS Dual Intensity eyeshadows and like the MAC and Extra Dimension eyeshadows. They're that like baked gel type of a formula again. Um, I feel like they're not, they're, they're very, very pretty and great in pigmentation, but I don't feel like they're as intense, like, as the NARS Dual Intensities. And I have worn all four of these, and they're really, really beautiful. This first one is number two, Nude. And it almost, like, at first glance, it almost looks like a powder version of Tom Ford's Platinum, but I feel like this here is a little bit cooler than Platinum. But both shades, regardless, are very, very beautiful. This looks so gorgeous on the lid. See, you can see that it's a little bit cooler than uh, Platinum. But, oh, it looks so beautiful on the lid. Like, I was trying to wipe these off, and, like, they're kind of stained a little bit, so sorry about that. But that is number two, Nude, from the Wet and Dry Glow Shadow Collection. And I, I purchased these off of Nordstrom, by the way. This next one is number 001, Gold Pearl. And this um, I've used as a highlight on the face as well. Gorgeous what it looks like oh look at that shine so pretty this one here is number 003 shell this one here would be a beautiful highlight on like a medium a light medium even deep probably skin tone um, for me I'll just probably use it as an eyeshadow because it, it's a little bit too deep for my liking but it could totally work for a highlight on a deeper skin tone So pretty. These shadows are really, really gorgeous. And then this last one is number 000 Optic White. I've worn this one as a highlight on myself and I love it as a highlight. It's it's like what some of the In Extra Dimension um, highlighters, I wish that MAC would come out with a big size that's light enough for us pale folk. <laughs> um, but this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous as an eyeshadow and it was really, really pretty on my cheeks as well. Right there. Let's get a better swatch. Oh, put it right there. So that one is Optic White. So I'm going to end that haul here. I did pick up the new Lorac um, Blush Palette and also the Lorac Unzip 2 Palette. Um, I was thinking of doing a video on them, like a, um, a review, because I've used them a couple times um, by now. Um, you'll have to let me know if you want to see that. I've seen so many um, videos on those pr products so far, so I, I didn't know if you guys would want to see that or not. But I did pick those up. And then, too, I do have quite a few drugstore items as well. Let me know if you want, like, a drugstore haul. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the brush videos should be coming soon. I need to get it together, man. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.